So what we're working on today is a brand new Mallard camper. As you can see, it is not level. So we brought some um, items with us to get this thing leveled up. Some cinder blocks, some treated lumber, floor jack, and levels. Let's get to it. What's up on what we're dealing with here, you can see that there's actually blocks on this side and the other side. Uh, the, the jack is actually off the ground, I don't know if you can see that. So what we're dealing with is a, is a slope. I'll try to give you an idea. We're sloping this way, okay? So what we're gonna do, general rule of thumb, is always start with the point where the bottom of the camper is closest to the ground, all right? So if you look at this corner here, the ground slopes away from us that way. Can't tell it with the video camera, but we're sloping that way and that way. So the point where the camper is closest to the ground is right there. And that is where we're going to start leveling. Now, this camper is going to sit here for a little while. And since it is, instead of using the jack system to, to, to level it up with some blocks, we're actually going to retract these and we're going to use real cinder blocks and wood blocks. So I highly recommend that you bring treated lumber, especially if it's going to sit for any period of time. And I have a long level and a short level. Short levels to help me get the pads where these cinder blocks are going to sit level. The long level is to lay on the floor inside the camper. Uh, uh, new campers, especially some of the higher end models, will have self-leveling and they'll have bubbles and for leveling, etc. But I'm going to do it old school. I'm going to use my, my hand levels. I've got a shovel there for digging. And then uh, I've got a three-ton floor jack to pick up on the corners. This, this unit, I think, weighs a total of, I don't know, six, 7,000 pounds. It's not terribly heavy. Much further in this video, I want to make sure you understand that if you don't know what you're doing, you should definitely consult a professional and have a professional supervise the project. I'm not a professional, I just know a little about a lot. So, um, But one thing you wanna make sure of is that you're on an I-beam. If you look right here, see that? That's the I-beam that runs the entire length of the trailer. It's where the springs attach for the axles. It's also where this electric jack mounts right here. So make sure that when you're doing your blocks, your blocks are directly beneath these I-beams, okay? If you don't know what those are, you should get some help. All right. On these newer units, you also have another tool at your disposal. Uh, these have the powered uh, retract and extend. So that can definitely help you in leveling the unit. We're gonna use these little flat blocks as our bases to set our center blocks on. And just as a rough check, we'll take our short level. We'll set it on here. See what type of ground we're working on there. As you can see, this one's not too bad this way, lengthwise of the camper. Let's see what we're looking like on the hillside. On the hillside, it's a much different story. So we're gonna need to take our, our shovel and dig this little flat block in so we can get a level platform of cinder blocks to set this corner of the unit on. That's much better. This way, in that way we have our platform block level in the ground we go ahead and stack our cinder blocks and uh, if you don't know already cinder blocks are the most strong when they're turned with the holes vertically all right and then on top of that we put our treated four by four and above that we can see the I beam that's going to settle back down on top of that now that we've got the front semi level we're at the back corner here and since these are just stabilizers not actually jacks we're going to use a car jack to pick up this back corner. Meanwhile, keeping the level inside on the floor to see how we're doing side to side level. We're already almost there, front to back, and now we just gotta get the side to side. Check needs grease. Final step is to take a four foot level, lay it on the floor inside the camper, and as you can see here, the bubble is level center there. And when we turn it this way, center there and we are on on closer inspection after letting it settle for a bit we did notice that it was down a little bit here in the front this way so we got that leveled up we also engaged the jack here in the front to add a fifth point of stability for the unit uh, so again I just want to encourage anyone if you have a camper and you're going to be living in it for any length of time this is one way to do it go ahead and use a block uh, some blocks and some treated lumber uh, another point of a stability you definitely want to consider would be to tie it down 
so if you're going to be anywhere for any length of time uh, tornadoes come through or storms then you're going to want to have this thing anchored down to the ground and finally i want to say i am not a professional so if you're going to do this yourself please employ the services of a professional or consult a professional before taking anything i've said in this video seriously i'm just a novice um, <clears throat> but uh, this hopefully will help someone and uh, happy campering have a great day